always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, tonight we're going to experience temperatures that we won't feel for a while. It's going to feel refreshing overnight uh, with lows bottoming out in the low to mid 50s. We're setting the stage for what's going to become a pretty significant heat wave for us in West Michigan as we head into next week. But we have some pleasant weather to enjoy before that arrives. Your MoCast looks great, a lot better than the last few Saturdays have been. The first Saturday in June, we can pretty confidently say we should stay rain free. Morning temperatures in the low 60s, afternoon highs climbing up into the low 80s with sunshine expected throughout. Very similar to today with humidity remaining low as well. So a lot to look forward to here over the next 24 hours. Enjoy it because we have some pretty significant heat on the way. Highs up near 90 degrees by Father's Day. Monday and Tuesday will likely approach record highs in the low to mid 90s. Uh, we, not only do we see highs in the 90s through most of next week, but we also see overnight lows staying in the 70s, which means that heat stress can begin to occur for vulnerable groups, some elderly uh, parts of the population who may not be able to regulate their bodies well at night with it remaining warm and humid uh, even during the overnight hours. So just something to keep in mind. We've seen this heat before, but that doesn't mean it's any easier to deal with, especially uh, up here in the Great Lakes. If you do plan on heading to the beach, Saturday looks great. Wave heights of a foot or less. We should be flying green flags at most of the area beaches. Sunday's a day to watch and likely to stay out of the water with red flags. Conditions are pretty likely, especially north of Holland, uh, up farther north with winds out of the south at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Uh, it's going to be a choppy day out there with lake temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Those will likely continue to climb as long as we don't have upwelling occur. It's also going to be very humid through next week. Another reason to hit the lake shore. Dew points climbing into the upper 60s. I think these may be a bit too low. Would anticipate values closer to the lower 70s, which will push feels like temperatures to near triple digits each of the essentially every day next week. Precipitation chances low, but not zero, because we could see a lake breeze develop each day, which would put the best chance of rain likely around 131. Uh, just a 20 to 30 percent chance of a pop-up shower or a thunderstorm through the afternoon. Best chance of that looks to be Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. We could use the rain. We started the year off uh, with a surplus. We're now in a deficit three inches below normal since April 1st, and I know a lot of you are feeling it. Unfortunately, not a lot of soaking rain here in this forecast. High temperatures again in the 90s through most of next week. Uh, not a lot of rain on the way, but the good news is those inland lakes and the big lakes should be warming up nicely to try to cool off yeah. next week. Beach weather yes. next week. Right. Sounds so nice. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Blake, thank you.